In this CapCut tutorial for Reels, I'm gonna walk through how to edit Reels for Instagram or Facebook in CapCut, which I find to have some cooler features and a little bit more stable than doing it directly in the social media apps. And whether you're a beginner to CapCut or you're just looking for a nicer workflow for your Reels, we'll walk through all of it step by step. By the way, everything I'm showing you in this video can not only be applied to Reels, but also TikTok videos and YouTube Shorts. And by the way, you're in control of this video. If I'm talking too fast, you can slow it down, you can speed me up, you can pause, and we've added chapters for different sections. So if you're looking for a certain part of CapCut or you wanna revisit anything, look in the description of this video and jump right to where you wanna be. But this is the CapCut phone app on a widescreen here, so feel free to make this video full screen so you can see things better. One question that comes up a lot is does CapCut cost money? And they do have a paid version with lots more features, but everything that I'm gonna show you in this tutorial is using the free version of CapCut. So you download the app for free from your app store, the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store, and you don't even have to sign in or create an account right away. You can just start editing. And to get started, we're gonna tap that new project button, the big blue button there right near the top. And what that does is it opens up your camera roll. Now, important note, this is a video editing tool. There isn't a way as of this to record straight into CapCut. So you just use your regular camera app that's on your phone to record your video, which is what I did right before we jumped into this tutorial. So you can access through the tabs across the top there, videos, photos, or live photos. And I really like that they've got those sorted out, but I'm gonna just grab that first video that I just recorded. And I have two options. I can either tap the little circle in the corner of the video. And what that does is it selects it and it allows me to select multiple videos if I want, or instead I can just tap directly on the video and it'll actually open up the video and I can make sure that it's the right one that I wanted. I can even tap trim down here at the bottom. So let's say I already knew I only wanted a certain section of the video. You can drag these yellow handles to the section that you want. However, for this particular reel, I am using the whole thing. So I'm going to select it and then down at the bottom there, I'm gonna tap that add button. The little one just shows how many videos you've selected and now it's added it to my project. So a quick overview of the screen and what we're seeing here. At the top, you can X out of the project at any time. Next to that, where it says 1080p, this is where you can change the resolution. We'll come back to that in a bit. The up arrow on the upper right corner is to actually share it, and that's what we'll do at the end. Obviously, that is my video there in the middle. Underneath that to the left, I can tap that little icon there and I can make it full screen if I want to see it full screen. To exit that, I just tap the similar looking icon on the lower right there and it takes me back. The triangle, as you probably figured, is the play button underneath the video there. And to the right of those are undo and redo buttons. We haven't made any edits yet, which is why they're grayed out, but we'll be able to see those in just a second. Directly underneath that is the video timeline, which we will be doing our editing on and you can use your finger to slide back and forth to see what you're working on. And then underneath that are all of the different editing tools and we'll go through the important ones for reels. So your first step in editing your reel in CapCut is gonna to be to trim off any footage that you don't need. So in this one, I did actually say a line and then I messed up and then I said another line. And so I'm gonna to have to do some editing here, but the first thing we'll do is we'll just get rid of the beginning. So I tap on that piece of footage and I'm just gonna hold my finger down on this white bar and then I can drag it right up to where I start talking. Once you think you've got it, you can play it back. Your short form videos like this and if it looks and sounds the way you want, you're all set. And then we can do the same thing at the end. Now, while we're here at the end, if I scroll over on the timeline, CapCut adds a logo in there. Can't blame them, it's a free tool. However, you can tap on that scene and you see it's highlighted there. And then at the bottom, you can click the trash cam where it says delete and it's gone. So they don't require it to be there, but they do throw it in there by default. So the next thing you'll do is you'll make your other edits wherever you need them. So I slide until my cursor is where I want it to be. Then I make sure I've selected the clip so it has the outline on it. And at the bottom, I can tap that split icon and now it's split it into two icons. And then I can take this side and trim it up to where I want it. Now, another way that you can do that, which I actually prefer, is to just slide the whole thing to where I know I want it and then tap split again at the bottom. And then this chunk here I know is the one I wanna get rid of. And so I just tap delete at the bottom and it's gone. And then when I play this back, you'll see the edit. And so they swipe away. How long should your call to and by the way, at any time, you can use pinch to zoom to zoom in and out on your timeline if you need to look closer at something or if you wanna zoom out and see a wide perspective on the entire video. Now I'm gonna undo those last few edits because I wanna show you 
an even better way that you can edit your videos if they are talking head videos like this one, basically if there is a voiceover. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tap on the clip. And so this is the entire clip here. And then down here, I'm gonna click on what CapCut calls transcript-based editing. So this is a very accurate transcript of what I said in this video. And what you can do is you can go through and edit out all of your mistakes by editing the text. So let's say I didn't like this line or I said it twice. I can just highlight it with my finger and then I can delete it and it's gone from the video as well. It'll actually make an edit at that moment. The other thing you can do is you can come in here quickly and get rid of silence. So here at the beginning, it says 0.1 seconds. I can tap that, tap on it again and hit delete. I can scroll down here in the middle. I know there's some more silence. Oh, right there, look, 12.1 seconds. While well, I gathered my thoughts, figured out what I was gonna say. Tap it again, delete, it's gone. And then at the beginning, or at the very end there, there's 0.1 seconds, tap it, tap again, delete, it's gone. And so if I'm happy with the way it looks after doing the text editing, the transcript-based editing as they call it, I hit the little check mark there on the upper right of the lower box, and I go back out here. And now you can see I've got these different clips based on what I edited in there. So if you're doing a spoken word video, this is the way to go. Quick side note on this topic, I use a similar tool on desktop that's amazing and goes so much faster. So if you don't have to edit on your phone, I do recommend that and I'll link to that in the description of this video. Now, once you've got your clips the way that you want them, there are tons of other things that you can add. So let's say you wanted to add music in the background to start. So just under my video there, you can see that it says add audio or there is an audio tab at the bottom. And so I'll go ahead and tap that and you get a few options here. The first one says sounds. So here on the sounds page is where you can find music and other sound effects that you wanna to add to your video. And there's two tabs that are really important. And let me show you the second one here in just a second. But first you can go click on any of these categories or you can just type something up top. And so let me just click on trending. And if I click on lazy Sunday there, the second option, it'll start playing. And if I like the way that sounds, I can click the little plus sign next to it and it will add it to my video. So you can see it down there at the bottom. You can tap on it and hold your finger down to move it. So if I want it to be at the very beginning of my video, I can drag it there. You can also tap on it and then drag the white bars on the edge if you wanted to use a different part of the sound. But I'll just keep it there at the beginning. Short form videos like this are not getting a lot of now, what you're probably gonna find right away is that the music is too loud if you're doing a talking video like this. So while having the sound selected there at the bottom, tap volume down below, and then turn it way down. I usually go 15 to 20% in Short here. Short form videos like this are not quieter. getting a lot of watch time. Here's the number one mistake. Sometimes you might wanna go quieter. The important thing to keep in mind is that your viewer could be watching this with really good headphones or really bad headphones or on an old phone with a terrible speaker or in a loud environment. And so the last thing you want is to have your voice drowned out by the music. So that's why we err on the side of too quiet. Once you do have the sound the where you want it, you can tap that check mark on the bottom right again to save it. Steak that I see people making. And if you want, you can play it one more time just to check. Short form videos like this are not getting a lot of watch time. Here's the and hopefully everything sounds okay. Now, the other important thing that I want you to see in here, and this is where it gets a little confusing, and so we are in the sounds tab there at the top. You can tap the commercial tab on the right there, and it actually limits the library, but it's all stuff that has been cleared to use for commercial music, in other words, for promoting your business. Like I'm gonna tap on this second one, remembering whoosh, and watch the little notification at the bottom of the screen. It says use for commercial TikTok and cap cut only. So certain ones in here you can use commercially, but only because uh, CapCut is owned by TikTok and they've cleared it for TikTok, which means we can't use it on Facebook Reels, Instagram Reels, things like that. So what I actually do is I actually won't put any music in while I'm in CapCut. Then when I'm uploading it to Facebook or Instagram, I add the music there. First of all, Facebook and Instagram like it when you do at least one additional edit in the original app, but then you know you're okay. All the music there has been cleared for that platform and you don't have to worry about your video getting taken down or muted. Another feature you might wanna play with down here at the bottom is effects. So I'm gonna tap on that little icon and there are tons of different effects that you can use in here. So if I tap on video effects, 
and I can tap on these and they will Number one mistake that I see people videos. making. You can add different you have music your... and lighting and different things like that. You do want to be careful because some of these say pro on them and they'll let you apply it here in the video when you're editing, but when you export, it won't let you export without paying. So just make sure not to click on any. Number that one mistake pro. that I see people making. You have your... As you can see, I'm selected on that one that says Black Flash 2. I can also tap on that again, and you can adjust that effect. This is not something that I recommend doing if you don't have a lot of time. You're just trying to get this quality reel out to your audience or potential audience. But there's certainly some neat things in here that you can play with to maybe add a signature look to your video or add more movement. Next to that, there's also body effects, photo effects, AI effects, which is a pro feature, but all that stuff you can play with. Right now, we're just focusing on the basics and getting this reel published. Now, I do recommend adding captions because the majority of social media videos, even Facebook and Instagram reels are watched without sound. And even if somebody has the sound on, if they can see what you're saying on the screen while they hear you say it, they absorb it that much better. So down here at the bottom, I'm gonna click on text. And then I'm gonna choose auto captions. And automatically it's pulling them from the video. You can see they're selected on the upper right. So some of them, as you can see, have that pro tag. And if you wanna to upgrade to pro, you can play with some of those. There's definitely some neat stuff here, but otherwise you can go through and you can click on one. So let's choose this one here. I like that one. And then I'll hit start and it's gonna create the auto captions. And there it is on the screen. So now the captions have been generated and there are those brown boxes underneath. And I'm gonna actually go ahead and pinch to zoom in on this so we can see them. And we'll go back to the beginning. So you can see those caption boxes. And let's say that I wanna move them. I don't like where they are. I can tap on one of them. So that first one, and I can move these wherever I think they should go. So let's move them down here just for now. And then you'll see as I scroll through, it moves all the captions with it, even though I've only selected the one box. So because on Facebook and Instagram Reels, there's like a caption and sometimes ads at the bottom, I'm gonna put them right under my chin over here on the left. That box will show you exactly where they'll fit. Now, if I decide I need to edit these captions, while I have that box selected, I can click style down in the bottom row there. And I can go through and I can choose a different caption style if I want. I can also, tap into this text box here and edit the text if something got misspelled or anything like that. Now, the last thing I wanna show you, and I highly recommend this, is add some other text on screen, plus we'll get to look at the text on screen tool that's not captions, um, on screen to get your viewer's attention right away. So in this video, I'm talking about short form videos and why your watch time might be low. So I'm exiting out back to the main editing menu and I'm gonna tap text again there, and I'm gonna tap add text. And I'm gonna type in my hook, what I want to say to get people to wanna to watch. So I've typed in the number one reason people swipe away from your videos, and that gets added down there at the bottom. Now we're gonna, of course, fix that because right now it looks terrible. So if I tap on it again, now you can see I can go through and tap on these other ones. I can change the color, the font, there's all kinds of effects, animations. So play with that, get it the way that you want it. Now with this particular one, you can see it actually goes off the screen. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pinch to zoom to bring it in, and then you decide when you type it how many lines you want it to be. So I'm gonna tap the little pencil icon right there on the upper right corner of the text, and that brings up my editing screen again. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in after the number one reason people, I'm gonna hit enter. Now it moves it to two lines, and I think I actually want it on three lines. So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna hit enter again, okay? Then I click the check mark to go back out and now I can make this a reasonable size. I'm gonna think I'm gonna put this right up here at the top by my head. And then I just added a background there as well. Now you see this is here at the bottom of the video. I probably don't want it on there the whole time. I probably want it on there for about three seconds or so. So I can come down here and make sure it's selected and then drag that white bar back. So it's there at the beginning shows up for about three seconds, gets somebody's attention, and then it goes away. Now, if this was a 17 hour video, we could probably go through all the rest of the features, but those are the basics you need for Reels. Let me show you how to publish it. Once everything looks the way you want it, you're gonna tap that up arrow in the upper right corner, but before we do that, tap the box next to it. So it says 1080p, because that was the resolution of the video that I used in here. And you're probably not gonna wanna mess with the resolution unless you wanna make a lower quality version. If you go higher quality, you tend to get pixelation and we don't want that. But in that third row, that's your code rate, and this is about what size your file will be. And so it'll just do a recommended, which is gonna be a balance between file size and video quality. But if you want the highest possible quality, you wanna drag that all the way up. And it'll show you down here, it's really hard to see, but it says estimated file size 162.7. 
Let's go back to recommended. So the recommended one was 130. So really not that big of a difference. So I'm gonna go ahead and export at the highest quality there. Next, I'm gonna tap that up arrow. It'll take a second to render depending on your phone's speed and how long your video is. This could go really fast or it could go really slow. Once it's done, as you can see, since this app is owned by TikTok, you can share to TikTok or down below Instagram, Facebook, all those are there. All right, if you wanna see the video we just created, I've linked to it on the screen right here as well as in the description. And if you wanna see a way to edit even faster on a desktop computer with a completely separate app for these types of videos, I've linked to that on the screen right here as well as in the description and you can check both of those out, all right? Enjoy.